My name is Chloe Kant and I am a coach and I coach American expat women living in London. Hooray! So, welcome to this week's edition of Expats Friday. Um, if you follow my content regularly, um, you'll know that I've written a book called Be Another One Cheerleader, which I'm super excited to be launching in September. Um, as part of my vision to uh, publish that book, uh, I wanted to work with a big publishing house called Hay House. And I submitted an application in uh, August or July, something like that, uh, to basically become one of their new authors. Uh, I worked really hard on my submission, I sent it in. On Monday this week, yeah, I received a rejection. And you know what? I had a pity party for a little minute where I was like, you know, I worked really hard on that submission. I had a team of people that helped me to, to perfect it um, and to really make it the best that it could be. But what I realized was when they sent me the email that outlined, um, you know, that I wasn't um, going to be accepted onto the writer's course in October, which I'd hoped to be, um, it just made me reflect and think about, um, you know, their attitude um, and the kind of people that I want to work with. So to just, just to demonstrate, this was my, my vision. The book, the mock-up that I made to inspire myself had Hay House on the back of it. Um, and what they wrote to me on their email is quite interesting. I'm going to read it word for word. And they said, in recognition of your efforts and express desire to be a published author, we're going to offer you a reduced um, fee to the writer's course in October. So let's think about the words that it says. In recognition of your efforts, um, and your expressed desire to be a published author. Now, that's an interesting choice of words because um, everybody knows that self-publishing is very easy these, these days. Uh, so, you know, it's really about the scale of your ambition and what you hope for and what you dream for. Yes, that was my dream. And yes, you know, it was a bit upsetting to hear that news but it made me realize that actually I at this moment in time I'm not really desiring to work with them because at the moment they have shown that they are not desiring me and um, for whatever reason um, and in their communication um, it wasn't as empathetic as one would hope for a publisher that publishes a lot of self-help books but the real lesson for this video actually is about learning. It's about learning, that's true. It's about adopting a learning and attitude and mindset. So in the past, receiving that email would have really, really upset me um, and really made me feel really bad and really sort of rubbish and think that, well, my writing isn't any good and you know, was it wasn't really worth it and all those kind of things that you can, you can imagine. Um, but instead, yes, I had a moment where I thought, well, you know, these guys didn't appreciate me, um, and that is a shame. Um, but that is just the crux of it. I didn't spiral down into depression. Um, I didn't, you know, decide that my book was not worth publishing anymore, um, or that I was not <laughs> going to be a published author. Because let's face it, I'm going to be a published author. I have a plan for self publishing. That was always my plan. Um, my additional hope and desire was to be able to work with a bigger publishing house to just get a bit of bigger reach. But nonetheless, um, the point is we are going to experience disappointments um, and, you know, things where we feel like it's been like a real wasted effort and essentially a failure. But I don't feel that putting the time and the effort um, and in fact spending some money on making my application to Hay House, the best that it could be, was a waste of time, or a waste of effort, because actually, I can still use that piece of writing that I submitted um, at some other point and some other time. So it will always be there. Um, in fact, it's an evergreen piece for me. Um, I may choose to, you know, publish that um, as a blog or some other sort of um, short piece. So I just wanted to let you know that even though you can be really desiring. Um, something and work really hard for it and um, when it doesn't work out yeah it can feel a bit crushing but let's not be crushed let's instead just 
learn from that, um, see the lesson, um, and move on. Uh, and really actually focus our time and energy on doing the things that serve us. Um, so without further ado, be bold, be brave, be marvellous, have a fantastic weekend, and back yourself and be your number one cheerleader. Take care, guys. Bye.